I love float trips. Everybody loves float trips. The Two Yurt River float trip program, we built five sets of cabins on the river with hot showers, flush toilets, dining rooms. Probably the most exciting about doing a Two Yurt trip is the fact that they absolutely take care of you from start to finish. When you get dropped off on Two Yurt, that helicopter goes away. It's you and five of your friends, and that's it. I would say if there's one thing that I was really impressed with the best of Kanchaka was Will's attention to detail. When you get off the river at the end of the day, you know, those guys meet you with a cold beer. Okay, here he goes. For the people, what a guy. Now I'll bet you Will follows suit. <laughs> okay. 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 Bye bye. Oh. Oh. Six. Eight. Hey. Presidente. Here's my vice president. Right hey, here. hey, hey, from Canada, from Canada. Look at the kindness and generosity oh, here at the end of the table. Oh, Come on, so get over here. Peace, honor, and good I government. Love government. <laughs> I love it. And I'm out. Get out. Then you sit around and you can visit with your friends and just absolutely have a great time till the wee hours of the morning if you want. And then you can get up and do it again the next day and the next day and the next day. Check the rainbow. So one of the things that we have in Kamchatka on the rocks and in the rivers are lots of bugs. Here you have midges, caddis, stoneflies, big caddis like that one, mayflies aquatic bug life. So what happens is it really helps the, uh, the rainbows grow faster. They also have the salmon on top. So you have flesh, eggs, right. smolts, and bugs. And there's no anchor ice in the winter. These rivers get cold, but they don't freeze solid. So you have pretty good bug hatches at any time, like that guy. Looks like uh, a lot more fertile than a lot of places around the world, that's for sure. Yeah, very fertile, very fertile, and you know, um, real clean water as we saw. Lots of, that's a beautiful golden stone. And they're gonna come off any day, it looks like. Well, maybe a couple days from now we'll know what to be putting on the end of the line. Right? Yeah, put on stones. A little variation. Right on. Hey, let's go catch another fish. Uh-huh. On a mouse! On a mouse! <laughs> the thing that's fascinating about Kamchatka rainbows is they move. They're movers and shakers. They're chasing salmon. They're moving up and down the river systems. You know, we don't fish to specific trout like you would on the beaverhead in Montana where old, you know, Charlie's sitting in one spot. We fish to that spot because 
One day there might be a trout in it, the next day there might not be one in there, but there might be one five feet down as we fished a water type, water speed. We experienced some couple big rainbows. You'd miss one, you'd miss him a second time, and you're going, there's no way he's gonna come back a third time. And all of a sudden you put it right back down the slot, boom, you know, there he goes. And he hits that thing and it just goes nuts. And then of course you're going nuts and the real screaming. And I'll tell you what, it is an electrifying experience like none other. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> Maybe a 24 inch. Look at that thing. That's a big fish. <laughs>